and hello YouTube, it's me, A6753098 for race number 14 here of season 2 of the Intercell Outback Series here at Bristol Night, and I'm joined by a uh, co-commentator here, and that's Liam Irving, aka Earnhardt 3 fan for life. How you doing? Not too bad, but I think the more important question is, how the hell do you remember all those numbers? I got lucky. No one does it on my channel. So Randy Carpenter is going to start in the poll, and then uh, we're going to go quickly here because it's Bristol. Tyler Everett starting second. Zach Harvick, third. Trevor Jackson, fourth. Stephen Dillon, fifth. Alan Smith, sixth. Anthony Henry, seventh. Deion Scott, eighth. Tenth, Danny Wells, and ninth, Seth Cole. By the way, Deion Scott, he will make his last ride in this race and the cup race for race number 14. Race 15, he will no longer be in the 43 and 14. Pace cars are going to dive to pit road. And we're going to have one, one quick rule I want to announce. There's going to be no cautions in this race. So 50 laps, no cautions, anything can happen. As we're... Well, already Tyler Everest gets the lead, and he's had a great season so far, even though he has not had a win. As we're going to have to cycle through the back, that's going to be a common thing we're going to have to do here because a wreck could happen at any moment in the race. And I, you know what, you want to know something? I think the one guy that loves as, quote, TV time is going to be this guy here, Sean Galligan. He says, quote, TV time, best thing I could ever see in, on uh, any race. TV time is just the best thing I love to see. But anyway... Let's go to this guy here, Eric Burton. Now, I know he took over Jason Matchmore's, or excuse me, fail. Um, uh, George Schumacher in the three three car. Uh, he's actually done okay. He's had a few good runs in the beginning and then a, and then a few bad runs. What's been going on with this guy? Absolutely on that there. Here's Kyle Sosnowski. I think he got his best finish in Nationwide. He ended up like third or fourth or something, possibly fifth in Kentucky. He had a great run in the number seven car. He's been having a dismal season. The car in the beginning was just not that well. He only ended up with like 30 points or something at a time in like five races, which was not well. And Sosnowski right now, he's only 23rd, which is all right, but he can work his way up very soon, guaranteed. But keep an eye on the outside line. That's the line to use and to prevail. In the meantime here... Here's John Dillon, the 24. John Dillon's been having a, you know, a surprising, you know, average season because he was up there and then back down, and now John Dillon's been somehow making his way back up, so he's doing good here. But who's your one driver to keep an eye on there, Liam? Well, already he's got the lead, and look who's in uh, third place, Alan Smith, the rookie, in only his, uh, I believe this is his fourth start in the... Um, Outback Series, he's having a great run so far in the 44. He replaced James McLeod at Chicagoland. He's been not doing good ever since, but this, I think, could be really well. He can make a strong statement here if he gets a win. Here's Trevor Jackson. This is a, a very young guy, a very young rookie in the series. He joined ever since Season 2, and I'll tell you something. He's been begging for a win. He's been acting like he's trying to get a win as like Austin Ogo, except Trevor Jackson, he's been struggling as of late and just can't get the finish done. As they're catching up on to Rod Houston here, who's last. And oops, and here's Tyler Everson. Here comes Trevor Jackson for the lead, I think. I think if he can get a good run on the outside, he can go for the lead, which he's going to do it. Absolutely. James Silverfox all the way in dead last. I'm surprised that one car's there because he's had a really good season, and uh, that's a tough break for the one team there. Whoa, look at Rod Houston, or not Rod Houston, fail. Trevor Jackson, the 27, he's all over that one's bumper. And he's going to try to go low to pass him to be lapped down. And I, I certainly see sometimes, you know, the inside line working, but I think this time you got to use the outside line to prevail. And I think Trevor Jackson's been trying to do that. But I think now, because of that, the, crap, the whole pack's going to come in. Yeah, Trevor Jackson here. Look at Silverfox used the high side to pass uh, Rod Houston there. 
Trevor Jackson, now he's going to try to use the high side to lap the 10 car of Rod Houston, and he will do that. Great drive by and great strategy there by Trevor Jackson. I, I can tell you one thing. Out of all the like the rookies who started this season that really wants to win so bad, I think it's got to be this guy here, Trevor Jackson, ever since the guy who won it uh, at um, uh, Kentucky. Let's see where he's at. Is this guy here, Austin Ogo. This guy really loved that he got the win. And if he can get another good finish here at Bristol, then this would be really good for this 0-1 team. And he can make a strong statement, uh, especially coming into uh, All-Star Race Weekend. So the question is this. All-Star Race is coming up. you got the the race that's over at um, uh, Coca-Cola for the showdown and the All-Star Race. you got the showdown and the fan vote. And then you also got Race 15. What are in these drivers' minds to get even to the All-Star Race? I'll tell you one thing here. Randy Carpenter in the 75 would really love some redemption this race because if you remember the last race at Kentucky, uh, he started on the pole, ended up having a engine issue, or excuse me, a camshaft issue, and ending up retiring the race without even starting. So that's a tough break for the 75. He is running in third place right now. Major redemption for the 75 team. And if he can get the win, this would actually even himself out, and that would definitely help. Absolutely there, and Alex Jones, one of the drivers we got to mention here, he's been doing a little bad in the series. He's just been struggling a little bit as, late, as we're actually catching him to the halfway point. Alex Jones in 33rd here, he's just been having a very dismal season ever since he took over the 18 ride. Um, Alex Jones has just been... Uh, sorry for that major lag there. Alex Jones, he's been actually, you know, trying to get a good finish and, uh, you know... Up right there. And here's Sean Galligan. He's in 30th. Man, this guy's been falling back. Indeed, for the TV time, indeed. Ah, uh, the English man. Here's another guy we got to mention Johnny Gardner. That was your winner at Talladega. Out of all the guys who won the race at Talladega, so we just passed the halfway point, by the way, Johnny Gardner ends up winning the race. And for any driver, especially a rookie like that, to win a race, especially at Talladega, you got to feel really happy about that. I'm sorry for these lags here, by the way, folks. So I guess it's a sign we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll get back to the uh, uh, action as soon as possible. Uh, your leader, your leader right now, Trevor Jackson. Let's take you back to the green as soon as possible. We'll just wait a little bit, and then, because uh, obviously, because there's been no cautions, and it's a little boring, so. And welcome back here to Season 2 of the Arsenal Outback Series with a couple of sponsors here. Dr. Pepper, 23 crisp, refreshing flavors of Dr. Pepper, and by Toshiba, sponsored by PRWC Toshiba World Cup Series, if I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> World Championship. That was a major fail. So, subscribe to Liam Murphy's channel, Arnhart 3 Fan for Life, and... Uh, to see all the series that he's got here. So, let's go back to live action. And here we are. We're back, folks. Trevor Jackson has been making some moves, passing uh, 
with ten of Rod Houston, and then you know ever since now he's trying to pass Silver Fox to make sure uh, two cards are ahead of him, and he will now complete the pass. Zach Harvick has moved himself up to second. Uh, Everest has been in third, and Randy Carpenter up to fourth. And uh, you know what? The one thing we've learned, inside line is not the way to go in this race. Yeah, as you can see, the 23. Yeah, as you can see, the 23, he can get an extra run on that high side against that 41 car. So you can tell on the high side. It's really got about a couple laps to go. It, you know, doesn't it look like that uh, the winner of this race could be that number 27 car? Well, here are the guys I have never talked about in this race, and they're actually doing really good right now. Danny Wells is one of them. He is barely in the top ten, but he's having a great run, that number 12, uh, Sam Horst Jr. Alliance uh, paint scheme, Alliance car. And he's having a great run there in that number 12 car. And Anthony Emery, your Daytona winner, is up to 11th, and Aaron Williams up to 12th. Aaron Williams having a lot of bad luck in both series. He actually had a good run in the cup race. Uh, at Kentucky, and now he's doing uh, really well right now at Bristol, which is odd to see him do well at short tracks, too, ironically. And how about Seth Cole and his array, as we got three laps to go, up in eighth. Great run for him. And to finish well. As Carpenter is falling back here, he's been falling back to six here. We're going to get back up to the front, because we got only a, a few laps to go. Trevor Jackson... Next car ahead of him is Michael Walden. It doesn't look like Zach Harvick in that 70, uh, 70 car. Looks like he's going to catch up to him. Here we go. White flag is out for Trevor Jackson. And here we go. Coming off a of turn number four, Trevor Jackson will win here at Bristol. The rookie has won its first race. And I'll tell you something, the past two races we have had, rookies who have won to win so bad have finally won their first races. Whoa, Danny Wells had a break there. and Whoa, 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 oh, Dylan Lovett, it, Sandy, whoa. Well, I guess he couldn't go through a Bristol race without some sort of incident. Of course, indeed. Wow, oh boy. And we're just checking here. Hopefully no one hits those barriers there. Okay, looks like, oh, galgan has got some damage. Whoa, what the hell? That's the second time Galgan's been involved in a somewhat after-race incident. Let's find out right now what happened. I, I wonder if he was the one who hit CMB there. Let's take a look here. It's, uh, Oh, he clearly missed pit road, I believe. And I'm sorry, this is lagging like a bitch. Oh, this is actually uh, on this time, so let's scoot up a little bit here. Ah, damn lag. Okay, that backfired. Let's see where he gets his damage now. Hopefully if the thing doesn't lag on me. Oh, whoa, what the hell? Did I just see that? Well, is my replay? Well, Alex Jones, he's gonna run into Dylan Young here, who finished behind Sam Young, and Galligan's trying to hit the brakes there. And look at Galligan, he's gonna flip him over. I think he says good race. Now here's a victory. Here's a, a flip for uh, finishing that position. I don't know. I'm making it up. I don't know. That was an odd incident there. And he's moving too. Thank goodness for that. And then Seth Cole's going to get a little piece of that as well. Or actually, whoa. 
Josh Heath there, I believe. Yeah, he's going to be okay. That was a very odd incident there. And I thought Charles Jackson right there, he was going to hit those cones or bears, whatever it is there. But, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, anytime, anyways, um, Liam, I want to thank you here for uh, co-commenting here at Bristol. Yeah, man, thanks for having me. It's actually a lot of crazy action going on everywhere. That is true. Well, congrats to Trevor Jackson, the win of 8675398858, signing off. I failed there. I failed with the numbers. Uh, here come the results. The race has been brought to you by Dr. Pepper, 23 crisp, refreshing flavors. I'm out. Here come the results. You could have said we're doing some co-commenting here. 